So, itong gagawin natin ngayon is paboritong panghanda at the same time, napakaganda ding ibenta. This is pork barbecue. Last year, I shared a barbecue recipe but that one requires cooking. Niluluto muna natin yung karne. Maganda yon specially for chicken. This one naman, since we're using pork, magmamarinade lang tayo or ibababad natin. Kailangan mo ng isang kilo ng pork meat. This is a tender cut ng pork. Pinakat na siya ng mahaba. I ordered this from Fresh Options. Pork barbecue cut, ang tawag nila. No, one kilo. And then I'm going to put half a cup of soy sauce. One fourth cup of pineapple juice. Pineapple juice is a natural tenderizer ng iyong meat. That's why it, it's very, very good. No? Salt, rock salt, black pepper, pounded garlic. You will notice may kasamang balat because the aroma is um, na, nasa balat din. So make sure, pero kung uh, isama mo, pero kung ayaw mo, because some people ay feeling namin madumi ang balat or hindi kami nasanay gumamit ng balat ng bawang sa pagluluto. You know, it's your kitchen. So wag mong isama, nasa sayo yun. Brown sugar. Pag samasamahin mo lang, okay, hanggang matunaw ng konti yung asukal, and then, you cover it, iwan mo sa loob ng ref, overnight. Maganda talaga siya, overnight mong ibababad. No? Or kung wala ka ng overnight, 6 hours, ipasok mo sa loob ng ref. Wala kang 6 hours, 2 to 4 hours dito sa labas. Basta make sure, takpan mo lang. Nandyan na yung bisita mo. E di ituhog mo na, ba? Ano pa bang choice natin? So, I'll give you a tip. This is your barbecue sticks. Paano ko siya pin-repair? Nilubog ko siya sa tubig. Binabaliktad ko yan. Ginagawa natin to so that during the grilling, habang niluluto mo yung barbecue mo, hindi nasusunog yung stick. And also, kapag moist yung stick mo, hindi niya hihigupin yung moisture nung iyong barbecue. So, your meat will remain moist. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano magtuhog. Ito yung uh, giant barbecue na typically nabibili natin. I'm using bare hands, ha? I washed my hands twice. And in my mind, kumakanta ko ng happy birthday. So, pag tinuhog mo yan, makikita mo, kinokompress mo. Alam mo, depende talaga to sa inyo. Depende sa market mo, depende kung magkano mo ibebenta yung barbecue. Pwede namang compress na compress, pwede din namang, si yung manipis lang. Nasa sayo talaga yan. Me, gusto kong kinokompress ng konte para talagang malaman na malaman. So, you choose another cut. And then, you compress it. Ang advantage din, pag kinocompress mo is, the meat really stays moist. And then, ilalagay ko dito sa pinggan. Isa pa, papakitaan ko pa kayo ng isa. Hindi naman kailangan gantong kalaki yung barbecue. Pwedeng mas maliit yung steak na inyong uh, gagamitin. Eh, wala po akong steak na ko. Eh. Huwag mo nang ilagay sa steak. Walang problema yon. Remember, we're doing this because we want to have fun. We want to enjoy. ba? Learning is fun, same as with earning. O ba? Learning and earning, magkatunog. When you learn, you will start to earn. Ayan. So, tuhog mong ganyan. So, let's say, nakapagtuhog ka na ng mga barbecue and then na-realize mo nako, bukas pa pala yung order mas maganda po yon. 
ipila mo lang yan sa iyong pan and then isama mo yung natira mong marinade, takpan mo, ipasok mo sa loob ng ref. Pwede mo din tong ilagay sa Ziploc containers or sa makapal na plastic and then you can sell it na frozen barbecue. Sila na ang bahalang magluto. So itutuloy ko yung pagtutuhog nito and then next ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya lutuin kung wala kang uling. Katulad namin ngayon, naku may uling ba tayo? Mukhang wala. So I'm going to cook it in a non-stick pan and that will be next. So, no uling, no problem. So, I have here a pan, a non-stick pan. Lagyan mo ng konting mantika. And then, medium flame. Medium flame lang. Dito mo lulutuin yung iyong barbecue. No? So, very simple. Ito na yung barbecue na ating tinuhog. Okay? Ang isang recipe will make you around 8 sticks kapag giant yung ginagawa mo. Katulad nitong ginawa ko. No? So you just leave it there. It will cook around mga uh, 4 to 5 minutes per side. Now, let's prepare the sauce. So for the sauce, you need peanut butter. This is just Filipino style peanut butter. Uh, pwede kang gumamit nung mga nabibili mo lang sa mga nakabote-bote. This is water, brown sugar, banana ketchup, and soy sauce. So you just combine all these ingredients in a pan. Lagay lang natin sa, in a, sa pan. So I'd like to thank the owners of Mass Flex for sending me a gift etong set ng beautiful pans ng mass flake. You see how nice and ang kapal ng non-stick coating. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. Water, soy sauce, banana ketchup, and brown sugar. Lagay mo lang lahat yan sa pan and then iinitin natin So ito, you just mix it, pakukuluan mo lang. Ito yung sauce on the side. Itong barbecue na to, hindi mo na yan kailangan pahit-pahit-pahiran pa kasi malasa na yan or pahit-pahiran, di ba? O ito yung mas social na term. You don't need to baste it during grilling. Hindi mo na siya kailangan i-brush ng sauce because the marinade is already flavorful. Okay? So, let's go back to the sauce. Ito lang yung on the side because, syempre, masarap yung meron kang naiisabaw-sabaw sa kanin. So, you will bring this to a full boil. Walang thickener po ito because the peanut butter, yan na yung magiging pinaka-natural thickener mo nitong sauce na ito. So, bring this to a boil, and then yung iyong barbecue, ituloy mo lang yung pag-grill. See? How nice. Talagang very meaty. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo, pero actually maganda yan. Mas brown pa yung labas. So, ito yung sauce natin, and yung barbecue. Of course, kailangan may ka-partner yan. Paano natin kakainin? This is Java rice. Very, very easy. First, you need oil. This is anato powder or achuete powder, banana ketchup, pimientos. You can use fresh. What I'm using here is the canned pimientos that I cut into cubes and oyster sauce. Wala kang oyster sauce? Soy sauce. Pwede na. So, pag kumulo siya, you see, okay na yan. You want it spicy, lagyan mo ng konting sili. No problem. I'm going to turn it off. Lipat ko dito, and then I'm going to cook my java rice. So, to cook your java rice, you put your oil, achuete powder, banana ketchup, 
Simutin natin, sayang. Pimientos. Canned pimientos. Yung iba naglalagay ng green peas. May yung iba naman naglalagay ng atay, chorizo, kanya-kanyang version eh. So, pwede nyo din subukan yon. Okay? And then you just cook it. Hanggang mag-blend together itong mga ingredients mo na ito. And then you put in your rice. This is approximately 3 to 4 cups of rice. Ayan, para mo lang siyang isasangag. Easier to use a non-stick pan kasi syempre hindi naninikit. Okay, very easy, very simple. Silipin na natin to. O yan. Pwede mo din lagyan ng konting mantika. O ba napakadali? Very simple, all ingredients accessible. And ito, of course, kung, syempre, during this time, kung ayaw mo magtinda ng barbecue doon sa tapat ng bahay mo, pwede kang magpatanggap ng mga food trays kasama na yung java rice, di ba? So, java rice with barbecue, pwede mo din haluan ng chicken barbecue yan. Vegetarian sila, you can do tofu barbecue. Madami talagang pagpipilian as long as you know the basic. Okay, so you just keep on cooking the rice hanggang uh, mag-distribute yung flavoring mo. This is very delicious and perfect pair. Yung sauce na ginawa natin, we call it peanut uh, barbecue sauce. Ayan, mag-multitask ka. Oops, ayan, medyo nagbabrown na. Malapit na. Look how nice. Eto, ready na to. Dinudurog ko lang yung mga buo-buong kanin. Okay, and then you have your sauce. You have your sauce, you have your java rice, and then you have your barbecue. Konting luto pa to. Lulutuin pa natin ng konti. And then, susunod ko na, ipapakita ko na sa inyo kung paano siya i-plate at titikman natin. So, what's the best part of cooking? Yung nag-plate-plate ka na at kakain ka na at magpapakain ka na. O, di ba? So, this is the java rice. Nilalagay ko siya dito sa uh, aking mangkok para medyo restaurant style. Yan. Di ba? This is the sauce. And then I have here the barbecue. You can put mga... Let's put two pieces. Put the sauce here. And then, this is from the garden. This is blue pea or turna tea. This is edible. Actually, you can just put it there para meron kang garnish. Oh, nakita mo? Restaurant-style foods. You can easily prepare it at home using ingredients that, of course, mabibili mo sa supermarket, sa palengke, and ikaw mismo ang gagawa. Di ba? Feed your family with delicious foods or you can start up a business using this. So, enjoy. Ay, teka muna, bago natin tapusin, kailangan palang tikman ko. Parang ayaw kong galawin yan. So, dito na lang ako titikim. So, how I eat it, yan java rice. I'll get some barbecue. Maliit lang. And then, konting sauce. 
The pork looks very tender. Mmm. Ang sarap. So, gumawa ka na and see you again soon.